Today I'm going to replace this worn out top on my radial arm saw with a brand new one. My radial arm saw is a Ward's Powercraft 10 inch radial arm saw. It was built in 1968. I got it as a hand me down, and the top of this thing has been falling apart for a while. And when I moved last year, uh, it sort of came up and out and is no longer level. And it's time to replace the top. Now, the first part of anything is you tear it down. So I tore it down, took measurements, cleaned up the saw, and got ready to put on a new top. I decided to use MDF because it was good and straight and flat. Made my measurements and my cuts. I decided I wanted to put a track in the back to hold uh, a hold down clamp to use on some projects that I had an idea for, and I did a really terrible job of routing out that. Uh, my straight edge kept moving, so I didn't do very well. Uh, the screws were too long also, so I cut them off on the back so they wouldn't stick up and cut me. Now those two knobs on the front are linked by a long bolt to the back and it holds that back against the front part of it. Now the front part of that top has four bolts in it that hold it still and the back side holds up against that. So I drilled the holes in the right place, but this was after I had sort of squared the fence to the blade using those knobs that I was just talking about. And the way that you do that is you lay a carpenter square up against the fence, and you can check the blade squareness to the fence by running the blade forward and backward along that square. And at the same time, if you lower it to where it just touches the surface, you can tell how level the surface is by how the blade rolls back and forth over that surface, and you can make adjustments that way. And then I uh, started cutting the slots in the fence where that was going to go when I made cuts. And you want your blade about a quarter of an inch below the surface, so you have to cut that groove into it. And I'm still working on how to put the clamp in there and I'll figure that out later but I have a brand new top and it's flat and it's even and it's square and I cleaned up the saw a little bit while I was at it thanks for watching